Lord, we give you praise, oh God. Awesome one, holy one. You are mighty, oh God. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are holy. You are our strength, oh God. You are our strength in the midst of every situation. You are our strength, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Awesome, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just continue to praise him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I give you praise. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach us to me. You are my strength. Yes, Lord. Strength like no other. Yes, you are. Strength like no other. Reach us to me. Hallelujah. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your mind. In the power of your mind, you lift me up. You lift me up. You lift me up. In the fullness, in the fullness of your grace. In the power of your mind, you lift me up. You lift me up, God. Yes, you do. You are my strength. Come on, just decree that this morning. Strength like no other. Yes, Lord. Strength like no other. Reach us to me. You are my strength. Reach 
just to me. One more time in the fullness. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your mind, you lift me up. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up, yes. Lord, lift me up. Hallelujah. Lord, lift us up, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, give us strength, oh God. Yes. Lord, give us strength, God. Oh, Lord, yes. Lord, we need your strength, God, yes. Holy One, give us strength, oh God. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your mind. Lord, lift me up. Yes, Lord, yes. Lord, lift me up, God. Come on, just decree that out of your spirit. Lord, lift me up, God. Make it personal. Lord, lift me up, God. Abba, Father, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. That's your prayer this morning. Lord, lift me up. Lift our families up, oh God. Hallelujah. Lift this nation up, God. Lift this world up, God. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your mind. You lift us up. Yes, Lord, I feel your strength, God. I, I feel you, Lord. Lord, lift us up, God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Holy one, awesome one. Holy one, awesome one, yes. Holy one, awesome one. Holy One, awesome One, yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So just continue to talk to Him. Continue to talk to Him. Thank you, Lord. Let's continue to talk to Him. His presence is here. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Shut 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Fresh anointing fall in this place. Fresh fire fall. We're waiting on you, God.
he would have given you living water. In John chapter 7, verse 38, but he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And as before the service started, that song that says, he is a well that never runs dry. And as the scriptures just said, abide in me. That means stay connected to me. Thank you, Lord God. That the rivers, the rivers can only flow if we're in him. For he says, apart from me, you can do nothing. So what I saw is that if you can have a bottle of water, and that bottle of water will quench our thirst. We can have a pitcher of water in our fridge. But at some point, that resource is going to run out. And you're going to have to go back to the source, that pipe, that, that faucet. Yes. And cut it on and let the water flow. Living rivers, the living water, that living means running water. Yes. A continuous running of water that flow. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But if, if you stay connected to me, if, if we can stay as the song is ministering and the spirit of God is flowing, if you're connected, if you're abiding, if you're remaining, if you're in a continuous, strong relationship, he says you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But let that living river flow. Let that living water quench our thirst. Because he is a well that never runs dry. He never runs dry. After the resource has ran out, if you're connected or if you run back to the source, you will replenish. If you make more room, if you have more capacity, you will pour in more. But you have to be connected to the source. For apart from him, it would be as in a barren wasteland. It would be in a drought. It would be famine. Devastation. But, but nothing, can, so nothing survives without water. And like it says in Psalms 1, you have to be planted by the river. Yeah, yeah. God wants us to be planted. Yeah, that, 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 this is not, oh God, oh God, oh God. This is flowing. This is a flow. This is a flow. It's a continuous flow. And he's saying, if you just continue to be in me, says God. If you continue to remain in me, says God. If you can continue to abide in me, says God. As the word that was, as the word that went forth, he wants to speak. He wants to tell us things, the hidden things, the secret things, the things we know nothing of. But they're not just, just going to come to us, though we can. But if you are connected to God, yeah, if you're connected and in tune with God, and, oh, I love when it says Jesus. It says Jesus was in special communication with the Spirit. Yeah, if you can be in just that communication with the Spirit to hear what the Lord is saying through His Spirit. Oh, there's a revolution coming. There are new ideas that are coming. There's birth that's going to come. But you have to be connected to the source. That living source. That run that never, the, the, the well that never runs dry. This is a good thing. It's also a commandment to get the thing, the living water, you have to be connected, abiding, yes. remaining. Yes. That's the command. He said abide. He didn't say maybe you should. It says abide in me. Yes. Stay connected to me. And rivers of living water will begin to flow. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. 
the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are El Shaddai. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Elohim. You are, oh God, you are Jehovah Rapha. Lord, we thank you. Great and mighty God, we praise you for all that you're doing. For all that you're doing and all that you will continue to do, we praise you. We worship you. Hallelujah.
shut. God has you. And he's raising you up in the midst of what every, so many other people are doing. You're still being obedient to the Lord. And what I'm saying is I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful that, that, that you're being obedient. Where two or three are gathered together, you're being, and it's blessing my soul. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for that word. Awesome. Hallelujah. Trust the process. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I mean, you know, during this pause in our life, or whatever's going on, there, God is still moving. God is still working. He's still moving. Yeah. It may look like things have stopped for a moment, but the Lord is still moving. He's still working. He's still speaking. And his word shall prevail. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father. God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. That was the right now word. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Give me praise. Some of the things that the Lord just gave unto me is during this time of preparation that we're in, something awesome is going to be birthed out of this. Something great is going to be birthed out of this. In our own individual lives, and also in the nation. And during that time, the Lord gave me Ephesians 6, and it says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, and that ye may be able to stand against the wells of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers, Against the, against the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. And that scripture has had been ringing in my head all morning, so I said, okay, Lord, maybe you, you want me to release it. And I just thank God for the prophetic, and I thank God for what he's doing. Though this is a challenge for everyone, the Lord gave me this should not keep us from moving forward. This should not keep us from our dreams yeah. and aspirations that we have. But this should prepare us for our dreams. It should prepare us for our aspirations that we have. So don't let this, don't um, sit idle and stagnate it. But continue to let the Lord use you. And continue to let the Lord give you those ideas, and those inventions, and those business ideas. Whatever else the Lord has given you time of preparation so those things so that those things can be birthed in this season. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. The Lord just gave me those few things and I just thank him for his word. Anybody else want to say anything here? I just want to say that's confirmation um, too. Uh, that's confirmation and also encouraging. So we thank you for that. Amen. Amen. But what, you, what my wife just said about Ephesians six and ten was the same thing the Lord gave me. And we didn't. We we don't norm, We normally don't. Well, we talk in the morning, but we don't talk about what we're going to bring. We just. Uh, I, I like to know. I don't like to know ahead of time. So I just like to know what the Lord has given and she that same way but I had the same exact scripture Ephesians 6 and 10 um, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power and the power of his might and you know I like definition so I looked up I know what um, might meant and we know that it can mean you know I might go to the store I might lay down but another definition in the noun form is the power authority resources wielded bodily strength, power, energy, or intensity of which one is capable. So it says, be strong in the Lord with the power 
of, of the Lord's energy yeah. and intensity of which he is capable. Be strong in the Lord. The other night God was 2 Corinthians chapter 12, 8 through 10. Uh, it says, and he said unto, I'm sorry, let me just uh, read verse 9. It says, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glorify in my infirmities. But I wanted to just point out my strength is sufficient. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. This is time. Uh, word of the Lord. And I'm sensing for this day, for this week, is the Lord's strength. His strength be upon us and be with us in the midst of everything that's going on. Yeah. Amen. Amen.